Hello there, Star Wars fans and collectors, and welcome back to another Star Wars fig review. In my last three videos, we took a look at Princess Leia from the Black Series. So today, we'll be taking a look at a twin brother, Luke Skywalker. Both these figures are from the Black Series. Uh, the one on the left is the is Luke Skywalker from the Empire Strikes Back when he's training on Dagobah. The one on the right is Luke Skywalker from the, from the uh, from Air of the Empire. And, and the reason why I'm doing a double review today is because these two figures are the exact same figures. This one's just a repaint of this one in black. Um, and, and that's really it. I mean, besides the appearance, uh, they do come with different accessories, but that, but that's it, really it. You know, it's the same figure, same articulation and whatnot. So I thought it'd be nice to do a double review. I really do double reviews and I thought, you know, it, it saved me time from doing just two separate videos on two, on two separate figures. And before we get into the uh, figures themselves, let's take a look at the packaging real quick. So obviously Dagobah Luke comes with uh, the Empire Strikes Back. Uh, well, well, he comes in the Empire Strikes Back uh, Kenner style uh, card back with the 40th anniversary because, because his figure came out in 2020. And we got a nice, you know, uh, still of Luke Skywalker and Yoda training from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, we got the typical Black Series um, Star Wars um, Kenner style you know, specs of the packaging like ages four and up and the Kenner logo is there as a nod to the to the Kenner company. We got the warning choking hazard stuff like usual. In the back we also have um other figures in, in the line or in the wave. We got Boba Fett, a snow trooper, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker from Dagobah, which is the one I'm reviewing right now, and Darth Vader from Empire Strikes Back. I also have this one, so maybe so hopefully someday in the future I get to review this one. I have two. I got one in the card and one open because I because it looked too nice. <clears throat> and uh, right here we got a description that says commemorate the 40th anniversary of Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back with figures from the Black Series featuring classic designs and packaging. And the rest are, are in different languages, but the same thing. We also got the same um, your typical stuff in the bottom here, but that's really it. Now for Air the Empire, this is, this, this is pretty cool. We got a picture of Luke, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, with the Air the Empire um, title we got two star destroyers thrown and we got this it looks like, which looks like coruscant we got all this stuff which is pretty cool great artwork from the novels and stuff and <coughs> excuse me and back here we got the 50th uh the 50th anniversary for two lucas film and like the like some of the other um figures or other packaging from black series we got you know a timeline of lucas films um time with star wars and well, well their, their timeline of their release with st release of star wars so obviously starting here from the 70s and 80s we've got the original trilogy 90s to 2000s we got the expanded universe which is now legends and around that time too we got the star wars prequels around the late 2000s and early 2010s we have the clone wars and rebels tv show we also got this and from the mid 2010s to the early 2020s we have um the sequel trilogy and the spin-off movies like rogue one and and solo a star wars story um and that's it you know um i know we have i know we have more tv we had more tv shows later on down the timeline but i guess they couldn't fit everything onto the timeline that is uh presented on this box we also got a little description says commemorate the first 50 years of lucasfilm with figures inspired by star wars books and comics and the rest of it are the same thing in different languages really you got your typical stuff down here so it's not too surprising i also want to show you that this figure opens up so when you open the box you see the figure rests inside that uh, plastic um a plastic thing right there and obviously he's not there anymore. I took it out. But we also got this. This is pretty cool. We got a description of Luke Skywalker and the East Salamari that he comes with. So the first paragraph, like usual, is in English. The rest are in different languages. So it says, five years after the destruction of the Death Star, Luke Skywalker fears there is no hope as the remnants of the Imperial fleet are ready for war under the command of Grand Admiral Thrawn. And for the East Salamari, we got using East Salamari to, to sever the developing Jedi clones connection to the Force allowed by mentally stable clones to be created a discovery thrawn would use in his war against luke skywalker in the new republic and that is pretty cool and we got a nice picture of from the i think this is a comic of luke and thrawn very cool stuff very great packaging i do have a mara jade and i do plan to give mara jade asap because she might go she might if i, if I wait too long she might go up in the market and I, it'd be nice to have luke sky uh or, uh this version of luke skywalker and mara jade you know because they're both eu characters and i might post mara jade with other giant luke skywalkers too but now back to the figure and let's see there we go 
<laughs> so for, so accessories uh wise empire strikes back luke comes with a blaster and his uh father's blue lightsaber and the blade is removable so you can, but you can't really hook it onto the to, to the you know his waist because he doesn't have that hook uh even though the uh, lightsaber help, does have a d-ring hook you can hook it to now here, here in the empire luke he comes with a green lightsaber with a removable blade and looks just i mean the hilt looks nice it looks very detailed and he also comes with an East, East Alamari. Uh, you can put this around his neck, but it doesn't stay on. So I'm, I'm not going to mess with it. I tried it yesterday. So I'm just going to have him uh, stay there. As a matter of fact, let me give you a close-up of the East Alamari. Looks like they fell down. Looks like it looks fell down. It's very nice. I don't count this as a figure. So I so it's really an accessory. Um, it, it, it's kind of like um, for all the Indiana Jones Adventure Series collectors. You know, It's kind of like with the monkey that came with Marin and and indiana jones from cairo um you know that's really not really a figure i don't count as a figure it's really an accessory since the figure is the is the human character itself but yeah very nice detail on the east salamari character very lizard like and i like it you can probably put this go uh, put this with your black series thrown probably <laughs> so articulation that that uh the two figures have they have a let's see a looks like a ball joint at the head it could be a ball hinge but I want to. I I think it's more of a ball joint, or or ball hinge, but it could be one or the other. Hinge shoulders, hinge elbows, hinge wrists. Um. Uh, ball joint at the upper torso, hinge hips, hinge knees, and hinge ankles, and obviously, um, and, you know, I like I said, these two are the same figures, so articulation is the same. Uh, let's do a quick comparison to, of the two figures in terms of their appearance obviously uh luke skywalker from dagobah is wearing a like tannish military uh uniform <laughs> or looks kind of yeah, yeah, yeah more like a beige tannish military military uniform and his boots are brown it has shows great detail well the details are more visible um now compared to this one this is mostly a uh, luke skywalker decked in black um Obviously, because this isn't Dago by training Luke, he's not as dirty. Uh, I forgot to mention that the that the outfit on Luke's on Dago by Luke is dirty, and that's meant to depict uh you know his him training and him getting dirty from all the training, and his pants are dirty too, and that's and they did a good good job of the detail, and from the back they also did a great job with that too. They also you know made his backside dirty too, and that's pretty good. Uh, now for the now going back to the Air to Empire Luke. He's more clean because he's not dirty, and and it's just and his out and his entire outfit from head to toe is black, which is fine because it's meant to be accurate to the uh, Air of the Empire look. Um, in terms of the boots, it's the same boots, but the details are less visible, and it's just due to be due, due to being all decked in black. Other than that, it's it's very good looks. But in black, those look, those look good. Luke Skywalker. I still haven't. I still yet haven't uh, had a chance to pick up the uh, Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi. There are two versions, I believe. One from Jabba's Palace, one from the Death Star Duel. <clears throat> and there's one that there's one from the Mandalorian too, and the Book of Boba Fett for the Black Series. So I'm planning on getting those in the future. So hopefully I can get those soon before the, before they become rare, hard to find, or or you know very expensive in the market. So yeah, great detail on, on on both figures. Like I said, they look different because of the paint applications and different depictions. Head sculpt wise, uh, it, it it's pretty decent. It's it kind of looks like Mark Hamill, but it's not. It, it, maybe it's not a hundred percent accurate. I mean, it's very close though. Not a bad head sculpt to Mark Hamill, you know. So what I give these figures, I'm gonna give these figures a nine out of ten. And I say that because the head sculpt kind of is still iffy, but it's not bad. It's very good actually but this could have been better um other than that these are great figures to have in your collection especially if you're a luke skywalker fan and whatnot or you're a fan of the empire strikes back the original trilogy or the expanded universe stuff like air Duty empire um i don't think i showed you guys the light the lights are hills up close they did a great job re, 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 sorry they did a great job the detail i can't even talk right they did a great job the detail on the hill and the blaster accessory is uh really detailed too yeah, I don't think I showed you guys the uh, accessories up close earlier, but now I did. But now I have. So, yeah, again, 9 out of 10 figures. 
and um again i recommend you get these two and this would sit great with your collection and if you're a kid playing this you're gonna have so much fun with these toys trust me take it from me who was once a kid too <laughs> but anyway that'll be all for today guys thank you so much for watching as always be sure to like subscribe comment down below hit the bell icon as usual and i'll see you in the next video may the force be with you have a great rest of your day or night bye